Now, with this combo, one of the first things I did think of was definitely travel because I mean the world here is a travel card for me it's literally traveling the world going outside of your state or country uh, it's a very expansive card so you could be doing some form of long distance trip or um, I actually feel like you're more I feel like you're doing this versus planning it um, especially with the six of swords here and I don't really get the planning vibe I get you're there you're, you might be far away from your home for instance now with the five of wands it could be that wherever you're going to maybe it's for family and they're far away there might be some conflict with people uh groups of people and i feel like it's not strangers but people that you know so i feel like whomever this resonates with you're traveling again for family more than anything else maybe work maybe friends or maybe that maybe the group that you're going with is problematic for some reason there's an argument that broke out or you and several people do not see eye to eye now for others even though i said this feels like you're already going on the trip it's a definite thing some of you might have problems with maybe like before you go before you get there there's some sort of delay or uh issues like small issues that creep up you know uh, oh my god i left my passport at home oh my god i i don't have um or machines are down the airport something happened in the airport taxis late i don't know <laughs> how often taxis are late but there's like these little small things that are coming in my brain um as issues between you and taking this journey this trip do i see it beyond a physical trip not really i mean for some, not okay, fine. For some, not thinking about an actual trip whatsoever. These world for me is a cycle. It's a it's a big change card. It's like moving from one stage to the next. You know, you don't really go back and read the previous chapter. This is again brand new page. Um, Six of Swords is similar in the sense that you know you're moving in one direction. You're moving away from the past, the way it was, and. For most, that past was turbulent to a degree. Uh, and this is actually what's interesting is that the Six of Swords is moving away from the Five of Wands. So some of you might be moving away from a situation that was a struggle. You were fighting with people or uh, there's a group of people that you just want to get away from. I'm still getting that vibe. And if you're not actually, again, going off uh, on a long distance journey, you might just be stepping away or spending time anywhere else to kind of get away from a situation where there seems to be again this conflict between you and a group of people all right so that's general we'll get clarifiers uh let's go to love so we have the nine of wands the ten of cups very nice card with the Ace of Pentacles. Now, I don't like the Nine of Wands normally, but with the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, I will look at the Nine of Wands as if this is energy that's leaving. So think of it as it being reversed in a way. And this to me says there's still an energy of caution, of exhaustion, and just having been there, done that, do I want to do it again? There's That stuff is still on your mind. You might be carrying a few scars as well. And I don't mean physical scars, but emotional scars. However, it feels like there is a romantic opportunity that is coming in December. Now, the ace is, you know, the seed. It's a start. However, with the ten, I feel like this is a real opportunity. I want to say a real opportunity for greatness. But um, obviously, I said it anyway. But this could be the offer of a commitment. Or, again, you do have the world there that is general. But there this could tie into a new cycle in a current relationship you already have so someone's offering you something like saying let's move in or let's get engaged something like that that might be a next step could be coming up there could be an offer here with the ace of pentacles and i would feel like in terms of a romantic offer if you're already in a relationship this would be something like moving in together in my opinion uh, that's what i feel 
But this opportunity makes you feel, I think, ecstatic, overjoyed, ten of cups, emotional fulfillment here. So it just might be with the nine of wands, you're a little bit like, I'm not sure, maybe I haven't lived with someone in a long time. I don't know what that'd be like. I'm afraid of them seeing me, you know, in the morning, something like that. <laughs> and But at the same time, you can't ignore the fact that really you feel like ten of cups. You may have wanted this for a long time. If you're single, you could have just come out of a relationship that has been difficult or haven't been in a relationship in a long time, which would explain the energy of the Nine of Wands. You know, you can't remember what it was like or you're just um, nervous about the whole ordeal. But regardless, it feels like there's an interest. Someone, again, is offering an opportunity for some form of committed partnership. So, um, and this could be at the very beginning where someone's just uh, run into you and it's like, trying to talk to you and ask you out on a date and maybe something about them in the five minutes that you speak to them um, interests you enough that it makes you nervous and excited at the same time. So that is the vibe I get with this three. All right, so this is my outcome overall theme and we have the two of wands and the four of chalices. Now, not my favorite combo for an outcome, but by far not the worst. Uh, the Four of Cups is an energy of dissatisfaction. You could see clearly in this card as well, she's like looking out the window, it's raining, she's kind of somber. Um, there are four cups here that are obviously filling up and she's looking elsewhere. And if you look at the positioning, you know, she's kind of reflecting on the Two of Wands. So Two of Wands is normally a decision-making card for me. It's like, choosing a new direction, new path. However, in this instance, I feel like you might find yourself in December refre reflecting on a previous situation. Um, you might even be thinking about someone in particular, friend, lover, ex-partner, whatever, um, where you had a lot of fun. And I see, I see these people here, they're working together. So it could have been someone you've been working together with too. They're working together. They feel like I see that they enjoy their company with each other, even though they're not talking, they're not even looking at each other. But there's like this comfort between the two, I feel. Um, I feel like there's trust, too, and there's this general vibe of being engaged in whatever they're doing. Uh, I feel like you you're missing this energy in December. So it could be that if, like, for instance, this opportunity comes in, Either the actual, if you're single and it's a date, the actual date might not happen until January, meaning um, the offer comes in late December. In terms of if you're in a relationship already, and I do see this as um, the offer to move in with someone. You know, I still see this as you're, you questioning if that's the right choice in that in that case. Now, um, I don't mean to focus on love, but um, regardless, either you're reflecting again on some sort of thing you've had in the past where you engage with another person, maybe, maybe someone that you're working with, as I've already mentioned, and you're not really paying attention to any of the opportunities in front of you because they're not enough. They're not emotionally fulfilling. Or for the moment in December, you're just not clear as to what you need to do, what you want to do. You might be spending a lot of time thinking about it. Uh, there could be several opportunities coming at you in different aspects of your life, love, work, etc. But the majority of those opportunities are not engaging and you're kind of, again, a little bit withdrawn and uncertain in terms of your overall path for the month of December. So. I know it's not amazing news and you're like, oh, <laughs> but could always be worse cards. So um, I don't mind. Well, obviously it's up to you whether or not you mind. Anyway, um, I am going to draw a love card from the French vintage stamp Love Oracle. And just go back to love for a second just to see what this deck has to say. I almost thought that said change. All right, chance. 
In the bottom it says, roll the dice. This love is a game of chance. Playing for a keep is anyone's luck. Now, the way I'm seeing this card, I'm seeing it pretty much in the way I've already expressed, where there feels like there's an opportunity with the Ace of Cups. I'm oh, sorry, Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, wrong, wrong Ace. <laughs> and uh, it's really up to you whether or not you want to take that chance. And I feel like the reason why chance is coming up is because you still have some energy of the Nine of Wands, where you're undecided, you're not sure how you feel, you know, is it worth it, is it worth the risk? All those things are coming into your mind, and that even relates back to the Four of Cups as well. Where is it the right opportunity? Are you interested in this opportunity at all? Do you see where it could potentially go? You're thinking about all those things. So this card, I feel like it's saying, take the chance. You might not have anything to lose. Um, and I'm getting a go with the flow vibe. And that still applies when it comes to your relationship. Again, if there's an opportunity and right now you have a wall or again, there's this um, uncertain energy, it might be worthwhile to take a chance and see where things go. All right, so should I? Oh, let me actually, I'm all over the place with you guys. <laughs> so I don't, I know that I think the majority of you like this deck. So I just draw one for you. See what comes up for love. Okay, honeymoon. Holiday time together. So I actually see this time back to those um, that trip that I was getting earlier. And even though that was a general reading, there is a chance that whomever you're going on the trip with involves a romantic partner. Um, so I think for the majority, you, you might be going away. You might be going away to see their family or spend time with your family. Uh, general, I feel like it's speaking towards conflict that you might experience with those other people. But maybe it's not out of the norm. Maybe on some level you know what to expect and you're just like, ugh, brace myself. Anyway, um... Let's get let's get one for the five of wands. If I can shuffle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, catching the hint. Can't shuffle. The sun. Now the sun on its own is lovely energy to me. I'm actually seeing this as things can get potentially heated with people because this is a clarifier for the five of wands. Um, there could be like a lot of hot tempers is a phrase that came to mind or just um, aggressive energy surrounding this group of people. It could also be that someone in this group says something that maybe speak some form of truth or, you know, it's just like all out in the open, I feel with information and the personality is just out there that again, that might lead to this combativeness energy. All right, let's get one for the six of swords. Queen of pentacles. This is either someone you're traveling with or this represents your energy, which is one of oh, ten of pentacles. I feel like you are traveling to see family with the ten of pentacles. That's what that could be about. For some of you, it's as if to get away from this energy of the five of wands. Um, you might be returning to another location and going back to like work for instance or going back home because the ten of pentacles does relate to the home for me at times um this could be this could definitely be your energy that you just feel you need to regain some form of a groundedness and so you're kind of going back home or just re-engaging in work or anything else to just kind of get away from those people who seem to be causing some drama
For others, there might be an opportunity to travel for work, or some of you may have come into come into some money, or yeah, I'd say come into some money, and that allows you to again really spend towards an actual fun trip, and maybe that ties to a romantic trip that could come up in December, at least planned out in December, and happens later on. Okay. I do want to see the... Let's see. Let's just get one. All right, social events, being around people can just be a thing in December. It is the holiday time, so you might just not have much of a moment to spend time alone. Maybe on some level you do want to be alone for a little bit, or this is what you're uh, reflecting on. It's just a period of time where um, you were single and free and you had some form of social life. Maybe you feel like you don't have that right now. Um, or you're determining, again, a course of action that somehow relates back to friends or other people. All right, so before I forget, let me get one on the Nine of Wands and one on the Ace of Pentacles. Five of Cups. I feel like you are afraid of making a mistake or regretting your decision. Perhaps because you have experienced that situation before and you ended up regretting something, so you think it might happen again. That's the vibe. Sorry, that's the vibe I'm getting. That's why there might be some sort of hesitance towards taking this opportunity of the Ace of Pentacles. 